welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back for another video if you are new to my channel welcome I hope you subscribe if you are already subscribed thank you so much for coming back in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this eyeshadow look using the Jacqueline Hill volume 2 palette and the elf 16 hour wear cameo concealer if you like and enjoy these type of videos keep watching okay I'm going to get right into the video Today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look using the Jacqueline Hill, her volume 2 eyeshadow palette. This is the one I showed in my previous haul video that I have been saving to do a eyeshadow look. And I'm going to first start off priming my eyelids and I'm going to be trying out the Elf 16 Hour Wear Cameo Concealer. And I'm hoping it works really good. Oh, it's kind of light. I didn't realize it was this light. And I'm going to take my M167. My black eyeshadow brush and I like to just use this to pat it all over the eyelid I thought I would do this part in the video today just to show you how I prime my eyelids before I start my eyeshadow, but I don't know how this one is gonna do. Then I'm just taking this, um, I forget the name of this brush, but it's a brush I got from Ipsy, and I always take this to just pat it off, to just like pat it in, really do it. I like to go all the way up close to my eyebrow. I hope it didn't increase. It looks good so far. I want to do the other eye. It has the same applicator as the Conceal and Define, so I like that part so far because that way it doesn't take a whole lot. You get enough for your whole eye. I'm going to take my palette. So excited about this palette. Okay, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going into the shade Perfectionist, which is this pretty, it's like a peachy shade. Because this palette, it really doesn't have any like, neutral shades in it. Really? There it goes. My mirror is just taking up all the shine. So I'm going to try out Perfectionist. Okay, now I'm going to take 
I'm using a different brush. I'm using one of the Wet n Wild eyeshadow brushes. And I used to use these all the time. And I really almost forgot I had them. So I thought I would try using one of them today. But this is the only different brush that I'm going to use today. Then I'm going to dip into... I'm going to use Tipsy Girl. Of course, you knew I couldn't wait to use Tipsy Girl. I'm going to go in with her in the crease. I knew this was gonna be a pretty color. I just knew it. Tipsy girl is really pretty. A little bit more on this eye. I think it's, it's starting to crease a little bit not too bad okay then I'm going to take my M505 and I'm going to go in with let's try stay true stay true Try not to lose my tipsy girl. This shade is a little darker, but it's so pretty. I have to put the palette down so I can check out these colors. They are so pretty. I've only used three shades out of this palette and I'm loving it. So if you don't already have this palette, I highly suggest getting this palette. Four and go into the shade. Let's do crazy. I think crazy is a really pretty. It's like a deep plum shade. I 
And I'm just gonna take that on the outer. Then I'm going to take it on the inside of the eye and do a halo. A shadow look. Just go right in the inner corner of the eye with crazy. trying to get that little part make sure that little part this that was starting to crease a little bit and look like really dark. Okay, now I'm going to take my M167 and go back in with the Cameo Concealer. Get a little bit on the brush. take one of the glitter shades and place it in the middle
all come together. I don't look like it right now, but it's gonna all come together. To me, it seems thicker than the Conceal and Define because, honey, you have to really do some blending. I'm not gonna worry about them being too much being a little uneven because I'm gonna go back in with Crazy and Okay, now I'm going to go in with my flat elf brush and I'm going to take Bougie. Bougie is really pretty. In the center. And I'm just going to add it all over. Then I'm going to take my M506, my small brush, and I'm going to dip into my Milani Hypnotic Lights highlighter and just put a little bit above, a little bit on my brow bone. Not a lot because I don't want this to be like.
extent I'm going to take. I'm in it. It's pretty white and do like an in a in a tear duck color. Just place that right on the in a corner there. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this gold shade right here. I will insert it and put that in the inner corner instead of I'm in it. Most of Morphe's glitter shades, like most of them, you have to like wet your brush before you can get, get anything out of them. But once you get them on, they are really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and do a wing. I think this look will be super cute with the wing. Okay, now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Lash Blast and get ready to prep my lashes for my false eyelashes. Well, for my mascara. Today I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Superhero yeah, and Super Black. And I also got this one from Ipsy. At one time they were sending me a lot of mascaras. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to be taking my Soul Faux Meek lashes in the number 007. And I think these will make this look really pop and just the way they look
take my mascara and blend everything in. Okay, now I'm going to take my Nakia K eyeliner and finish, finish the rest of my eye look. And now I'm going to go back into my into the palette and take out the color the waterline. Let's do heart on. It is a pretty like orange shade. You know I have like to make it colorful. I think I'm gonna have to go back in with the elf brush because it's not very Smudge it out. I will be using this palette again to create a more colorful look. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, this is the look. And I will finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, this is the finished look. If you enjoy these type of looks, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at MissHighMaintenance underscore 33. Don't forget to hit your post notification bell so that you don't ever miss an upload. Also, leave me a comment and let me know if you like watching me create these eyeshadow looks. And if you would like to see me create more looks using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I also enjoy using i also like the elf 16 hour wear cameo it did a really good job bringing out my eyeshadow i will see you in my next video bye